Hey guys, Larry from Oregon Coast. It's February 13th. And lately I've seen several of these uh, cracky lettuce tote videos. And I just had to, I had to give it a try. It looked really, uh, really simple to do and it looked pretty cool. So here's my attempt at trying one. And right here I got everything I needed. I got uh, about a gallon of aquarium water, um, some rock roll cubes. I've never tried rock roll cubes. So um, here's my also, also my first attempt at trying to start seeds in them. I got have my Amish, Indian Amish butterhead. It's a small six inch uh, lettuce, supposed to be about 40 day. I have my aquarium test strips and some lemon juice. The first thing I did, I, um, I tested the pH in the water, in the aquarium water. It was right at 7.5. So I added uh, two to three small drops of that lemon juice. I test the water again and actually dropped the water down to 6.5. Not sure if that actually helped the um, seed germination rate, but um, I just wanted to see if that lemon juice would actually drop the pH, and it actually did. So I was pretty impressed with that. So, all right, here we go. The next step. All right, I got my rock wool cubes uh, so here soaking in water, and I took a pencil, poked a little hole there on top, and put um, about three little seeds in each one, and it took about four days for the seeds to germinate. Well, I don't have a heated greenhouse, and I, uh, I was digging around my shed, and I found some. Uh, I had some leftover uh, rope light, so I uh, go ahead and coiled it up here on my uh, low grow table, and uh, threw some aluminum foil on top, and uh, this basically to help uh, help speed up the um, germination and, and the ceiling growth there. Well, I think the rope light uh, actually helped out there. This is about a week after I started the seeds. In the um, there's two or three of these cubes that I think I got the hole a little too deep when I planted the seeds and the, and the, the germination was about a week later than the rest of them. Here's my new lesto. It holds uh, six gallons of water, and I ended up squeezing 12 two-inch net pots in there. I probably could have went with um, probably should have used a smaller net pot. Um, the next time I build a list to I'm going to go with a one size smaller net pot. And basically uh, you could probably do this without adding the, that hydrogen, you know those little clay balls there. It'd been probably just easier to just to put the rock wool straight into net cups and transplant them that way. Well I made about three uh, mistakes when I did this list out here. Well the first mistake I did was, you see those three net pots on the right, right hand side there. I put uh, hydrogen underneath and then I put the um, rock wool cubes in and uh, they ended up uh, towards the end drying out so uh, the ones there on the left, the nine, that I actually put down to the bottom of the of the net cup and then I put uh, hydrogen on top of it, those ones actually did pretty well. The second mistake I made was I used this uh, see-through container. I was kind of wondering if uh, this green container that uh, if algae would actually grow, th grow in it, and uh, it did. I had one hell of an al algae mess, and uh, I had to dump it out and clean it, clean it all out. The third mistake I made was uh, I didn't set out any slug bait in my greenhouse, and uh, I had some uh, baby slugs hatch, and uh, one of them got on my tote there and hammered down on one of my baby lettuces. Well, anyways, I needed a uh, a quick fix there on my algae issue, and. Uh, Basically what I came up with is I just grabbed a black uh, trash bag and slid it right over the tote, cut some sl uh, slits in it, and, uh, put the pots in there and refilled it with uh, water and, uh, and my hydroponic uh, nutrient there. And this worked out really well, so I mean I was really happy with it. It's April 14th and uh, it's time to harvest some lettuce. Those three little ones on top, those ones I was talking to, talking to you guys earlier about the um, setting the rock wool cubes up too high uh, the cubes were actually dry when I pulled the plants out so and then that other small one that got hammered down by a, a slug but for the most part uh, the less looked really great I probably could have let um, a couple of these go a few more days but uh, I wanted to harvest the whole thing and uh, and start a new uh, new batch here's my son Henry showing off this great looking head of lettuce Check out those roots. Nice and white and healthy and a 
really happy how, uh, how it all came out. Here's another picture of the roots. Uh, see those dark ones? Uh, those were one of those three that I was talking about that I was having issues with. Uh, and uh, you can tell there it was obviously struggling compared to the, to the rest of the root structure there. Check out those three happy gardeners. Anyways, overall, uh, I was really happy with the results. But I, uh, I made a few mistakes, overcame them, and uh, learned a lot, and can't wait to try this again. This is about as easy as, as it gets. You just uh, add water, some hydroponic nutrient, drop some uh, lettuce seedlings in there, and uh, come back in a month and a half, two months, and uh, there you go, boom. You got less. Anybody can do this. I am a believer. Alright guys, you take care and have a good one.